One thing that you really want to be able to do is check to make sure that you wrote an equation for a line in standard form correctly, especially when you have to do all of the work uh, and start with just two points on a line or, or something like a table. Um, and you can't check it on your graph and calculator the same way you can check writing equations for lines in slope-intercept or point-slope form because those are function format, the y equals format, so you can just plug your equations in and look at your table and make sure that they're correct. But when you're given standard form, you're given something that your calculator can't handle as is. And if you go ahead and convert this into slope-intercept format, you can make a mistake in your conversion and then it looks like your answer is wrong. So you don't want to do anything to this at all when you check your answer. Um, you just want to be able to use the information given in the problem, the two points, the two ordered pairs, and your answer, the equation of the line, to figure out if you did everything correctly. And here's how we're going to do this. So we're going to do this just like solving you know, equations. You basically plug in the point into the equation to make sure that it works. Now I'm going to of course use my calculator to do the calculations for me just to make my life a little bit easier. So to check, what you're going to do is you're going to substitute in both points. And make sure that when you multiply the x value times 3 and you subtract off 5 times the y value, you get the negative 39 for both points. So I do 3 times negative 3 minus 5 times 6, and I better get negative 39. And I do. So that means that this point works out. Now I just can't check one point, I have to check both. So I'm going to do the same thing. 3 times 7 minus 5 times 12, and I also better get negative 39, or I messed something up somewhere. And I get negative 39. So that means that this equation here is correct. One of the things that people like to do with standard form equations is dis disguise the exact same line. Um, standard form is like point slope in that I can write infinitely many equations for the exact same line in standard form. And these are actually all the same line. And what I can do is scale a line up by multiplying both sides of the equation using mpo by some number. So for example, if I take the first equation and I multiply it by 2, I get the second equation. If I multiply the first equation by negative 1, I get this one. And if I multiply the first equation by 200, I get this one. And so be on the lookout for the exact same line just scaled up or down uh, in standard form. I can't do that with point slope or slope intercept. I can't scale those up. Now for point slope, I can use different points. And slope-intercept, well, it's always just slope-intercept. So I can disguise the same line in standard form. So remember that for the fourth six weeks when we start applying this stuff. All right, so another reason why people don't like standard form is because there is a simplified version of standard form. And if you read uh, the question incorrectly, um, you might not write it in the correct format. Now, simplified standard form adds two more criteria to the standard form. First, you know, we had ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c were integers. Well, the additional criteria here is that you have to have the first term is non-negative, meaning the first term can't be a negative number. And the second one is that the greatest common factor of a, b, and c have to equal 1. And so if I want to make my life easier as a teacher in terms of grading, then I'm going to ask you to write all of your standard form equations in simplified standard form because there's only one form of a line or equation of a line in simplified standard form. If I add those two extra criteria, it forces all of your answers to look exactly the same, which makes it super easy to grade. And these are really easy to fix, so let's just do a couple of quick examples of ones that are not simplified, and let's simplify them. So this one's not simplified because that first term is negative. And in order to change the signs of an equation, you multiply the entire equation, or you divide the entire equation, by 1. And in doing so, it swaps all the signs. And so that negative 2x becomes a positive 2x, that plus y becomes a minus y, and that negative 2 becomes a 2, and this is now 
standard form. Now, the other thing that messes up simplified standard form is when that GCF uh, of the coefficients and the constant term are not relatively prime, meaning it's not uh, GCF is not 1. So here's an example. 3x minus 6y equals negative 12. All right. Now, for this one, I can see that the GCF of 3, 6, and 12 is 3, not 1. That means that I can divide each of the terms by 3. That term by 3, that term by 3, and that term by 3. And that gives me the simplified standard form because I get x minus 2y equals negative 4. And this is simplified standard form. Now this trick in particular is going to be super helpful when we solve systems of equations by this method called the elimination method. So remember this one right here. Okay, and this final check for understanding, I want you to go back to the first two uh, checks that I had for this uh, standard form lesson and make sure that those equations were written in simplified standard form.